She ruins people's lives. That's her MO. She has five to 100 husbands. She takes people's life savings, their retirements, their home. Let's go back to May 4th, 2001. Actor Robert Blake and his second wife, Bonnie Lee Bakley, were having dinner here at Vitello's in Studio City, California. Little would Bakley know at the time it would be her last meal. After dinner, while sitting in the couple's car, Bakley was gunned down. But who killed Bonnie Lee Bakley? Was it her husband of five months, Robert Blake? Or a hitman Blake had hired? Or was it one of the many men Bakley had scammed throughout her life? Bonnie Lee Bakley may have been Blake's second wife, but he was her 10th husband. Bakley wanted to avoid the trappings of a routine life, and boy did she. At 13, while staying at a nudist colony, she discovered that she could use her beauty to her advantage. And unfortunately, this discovery would lead to her downfall. Born in Morristown, New Jersey, Bakley dropped out of high school at age 16 and moved to New York City to pursue a career modeling and acting at the Barbizon School of Modeling. In the early 1980s, Bakley began a mail-order business where she placed Lonely Hearts ads in the back of magazines, requesting the services of a male companion. Bakley was an entrepreneur in the world of pornography pre-internet days. She had mailbox drop sites all over the country. Bakley sent men explicit photos and letters in order to draw them in. It was a sophisticated system that brought her, get this, $300,000 a year. She invested in real estate in and around Nashville and Los Angeles. Bakley was no dumb blonde, but due to the nature of her mail order business and other dealings, she was arrested several times. In 1998, she was arrested in Little Rock, Arkansas for possessing five driver's license and seven social security cards with different names on them. She used the IDs to open the PO boxes in order to run her Lonely Heart scam. Bakley scammed hundreds of men throughout her lifetime, but she also met up with many of them and she even married a few. Bonnie was extremely evil. She was a con artist. She was a black widow from hell. She was a rotten person. Honestly, when I found out she was murdered, I was happy. After Bakley's murder, detectives combed through the thousands of letters she had saved from the countless men she had scammed, and not one of those letters was threatening in any way whatsoever. This is Bonnie's address book. Addresses of people Bonnie would soon begin hunting down. Warren Beatty, Robert De Niro. Bakley's friends and family described her as celebrity obsessed. Bakley once said, being around celebrities, it makes you feel better than other people. Bakley had a real devotion to becoming famous by association. It was a real driving force early on in her life. In 1990, Bakley pursued singer Jerry Lee Lewis. She eventually met Lewis and became close friends with the singer's sister. In 1993, Bakley claimed that she was pregnant with Lewis's child, but DNA tests would prove otherwise. Years earlier, Bakley was inspired to marry her cousin after Lewis married his 13-year-old cousin. Great balls of fire. She next pursued Frankie Valley, who Bakley felt a strong psychic bond with as a teenager. She then stalked Dean Martin, who had everything she had been looking for in a man. Money, celebrity, and an insatiable sex drive. Can you imagine what it's like for Santa Claus? Bakley was sure she could use Martin into dropping his trousers, but instead he dropped dead that Christmas. Bakley then fixated on Christian Brando, the eldest son of Academy Award winning actor Marlon Brando. Brando had become a media fixture when he was tried for the murder of his half-sister's boyfriend, Dag Jolet. Brando eventually pleaded guilty to the lesser charge of voluntary manslaughter and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Bakley began writing Brando and sending him explicit photos while he was in prison. After his release, Brando and Bakley began a romantic relationship. In 1999, Bakley discovered she was pregnant and initially thought that Brando was the child's father. In June 2000, she gave birth to her fourth child, a daughter she named Christian Shannon Brando. But the baby wasn't Brando's. What the f*** do you think you're doing? It's a bull man. What is going on? But you're lucky somebody ended out there to pull up a bullet in your head. And you get me all charged up thinking I got a baby and this, that, and the other thing. So what's this bullshit about the kid? What do you mean? It's not my kid. You're gonna game me, Robert Blake? You're gonna game him? 
Blake hadn't been working much when he met Bakley at a Burbank jazz club. Don't go 